you want to cut these sprues off and grind them down pretty close to being flat. Now take a piece of sandpaper on a flat surface. I start lapping those in. Take a good flat surface. Make sure that both of the bottom of the feet are in the same plane. When we get done, you want to set that down like that and make sure that he stands by himself. And the reason for having both of those feet absolutely flat, we're going to drill this out and tap this. And this is what's going to be bolted to your platform. You want a firm understanding. You don't want that to be wiggling side to side or rocking back and forth on a foot. Those bolts will be just snug. We don't want any movement in there. Nothing that would promote a possible failure in a foot or in a leg. I'm going to drill this out with a pilot drill. This is a number 50. I want this to be about three quarters of an inch deep. I want to make sure that I'm drilling straight this way and straight this way. Now I redrill these with a number 43. Number 43 is the tap drill size for a 440 tap. Now we take a 440 tap and we tap these slowly and carefully and hold on to the foot while you do that. And I run that tap all the way in. Your 440 will go all the way in there. These are 5 8 long. It's plenty long. And let's say you're using something that's an eighth of an inch thick for a platform. That goes up into the shoe quite a bit. Should be good stability there. For those who are a little more adventurous, I do most of the tapping with the cordless drill. Using a little caution, I wind that up by hand. When it comes to the head, when you receive it, that sprue will be cut off. Just take little nibbles on that. Flick that material off of there. Just keep nibbling that down until it looks like this one. Try to contour it into the shape of the wig and when you get done put a couple of scratch marks in there like looks like hair. After that's painted you won't see it. Yours will not look like this one. It will look more like this one.
I've had to make a few changes to this. And then you will drill three thirty seconds hole in there for this piece of shaft. The only thing prone to breakage on here would be this bow. Don't drop it, don't squeeze on it, cradle that in your hand while you're carving on this and it'll be just fine. We need to drill a hole through the head. I run that in there, oh, about a half an inch. Then ream it out to 330 seconds. And that's it.